Today's show is Fort Union, North Dakota. It's a visit with a person of high strangeness. This is Mr. Larry Bailitz. Um, it's a picture out of a magazine, uh, actually it's a newsletter. It talks about plain Indians uh, using chrome material. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about Fort Union. With my friend Rosie Margol. And I said, yeah, you have announced it? Yep. Yep. How are you, Rosie? I'm fine. So you dropped all off a cloud and... I dropped off a cloud and landed right here in Olympia, Washington. You did, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> but we're talking about North Dakota here, so yeah. you dropped twice, didn't I you? dropped twice. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, how did how'd you end up in Fort Union? Uh, not not Fort Union. We're close enough. In North Dakota, I mean. Yeah. Um, I ended up in in North Dakota because I came from Germany and I got married there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm here 19 years now. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got here. So live in the prairie. Live in the prairie. Yeah. You miss the trees. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, I'm from a tree country, and that is the big plants. So what are the biggest plants in the prairie? Uh, what we have in the prairie is, uh, they got some pine trees, mm -hmm. uh, juniper bushes, uh, lots and lots of sage bushes. And uh, yeah, some, some other kinds of pine trees. Sage. Um. Now, now you say it's just different than ours. How do you know why? Um, there are different kinds of sage. We we got the one what I'm holding has little small leaves, and then there are big sage bushes. They have bigger sage, but it's all in the sage family. So what's the proper word for this one? I think that's sweet sage. Sweet sage. Sweet sage. Mm -hmm. And then this is the, that stick came from uh, Eastern Washington. Hey, they had a lot of ticks on it. Well, we got, uh, got rid of it, um, the ticks. Uh, actually, then we set it on fire, so I'm sure the ticks left. <laughs> so I just got us in there holding the sticks. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, you're going to have to talk loud. And, uh, okay, so you ended up in North Dakota. Yeah, I ended up uh, on the Fort Berthold Indian Reservation. But, say that again? On the Fur Fort Berthold Indian Reservation. It's by Newtown. Uh-huh. That's where I ended up, and I was living there for two years. Two years? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Different huh, from Europe to... A reservation. Very, it was very different, really very different. Uh, so 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 tell me now, you, you came on a plane and then mm -hmm. did, did, that you went directly to the reservation or did you stop somewhere? Uh, I was in uh, Dickinson for a couple of weeks. Uh huh. Of what Dix? In Dickinson, the town of Dickinson. Oh, I don't know what that is. Um, that's probably an hour drive from the reservation. But that's still in North Dakota? But that's still in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. Then I lived for two years on the reservation, and then I moved to Wilston, North Dakota, mm -hmm. what is close to, can to the Canadian border, and to Montana. So, and I'm there now since 17 years. I'm in Wilston, North Dakota. That's a little town? Um, when I moved there, there were 13,000 people, and now, because we have the oil boom, ah. there are 15,000 people, and in, a, in five years, they assuming that we have 25,000 people up there. So tell me about the oil. How did the oil get there? I mean, I don't know how it got there, but mm -hmm. who... Uh, tell me about the oil. Well, uh, the biggest company what is up there is uh, Halliburton. Oh... Uh. 
Holly uh -huh. Burton, I, I guess you heard about it. Yeah, and, everybody uh, heard about yeah. that. And so far, what was on the news, there are 10,000 people where they are looking for to fill oil company positions. They're looking for people. So there are so, people right now coming from also, everywhere. Also, they got jobs for... Uh, for people in the oil for field. For 10,000 people? For 10, they have 10,000 openings for people. For oil people. Yeah. And right now there are a lot of people coming from Texas, mm -hmm. uh, Kansas, from New Mexico. They're all coming to Wilson. And the biggest problem in Wilson right now is we don't have enough housing for wow. all those people. That's a lot of so, stuff, yeah. So, so they're building and building. Uh -huh. Because they're expecting more people coming, and uh, there's a, no, a lot of more oil fields coming up everywhere. Uh -huh. So yeah, but Wilson right now is the capital in North Dakota where the most oil activity is going on. Mm -hmm. Not 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 given the problem with the with the offshore with with the Gulf or you know with mm -hmm. the oil spill in the Gulf. Uh, are people concerned at all about any in trouble with the oil wells? You think? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah? yeah. Oh yeah. Can are you free to can you talk about that? If not, I understand. Uh a lot of people are scared because there are people from the government coming ah. and telling them, uh, we wanna look on your land if we can find oil, mm -hmm. if we can lease it and the people they get paid for the leasing. But there are a lot of people uh, concerned that the air gets polluted or that there could mm -hmm. be some poison and cancer. Yeah, there are people there. One of the things we went into in Louisiana with, with the property, um, it, you know, like if they come and look at your property, if they want to pay you royalties, mm -hmm. that's not very good because they can find the oil and then cap the oil wells and your great grandkids won't see any money, you know. Mm -hmm. You can cipher it, pull it up another kind of way. So if you're gonna sell oil on your property, tell them you want cash now. Cash. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the, right now what they're doing is they're leasing it for two years. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what they do if they find oil. Mm -hmm. I, I bet you get so and so much percentage mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, you want money though. That's what the, that's what the Northern Louisiana people went into. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, eventually we're gonna go to Fort Union, nah? Uh, what time of the year did you go there? Uh, that was in June, the mid of June. Uh huh. And they have a rendezvous every year. Uh, that was the 28th rendezvous they did where I went. So, yeah. And you was nice enough to film for us? I did. I sure did. Mm -hmm. You worked really hard. Yep. <laughs> I worked hard on it. And I got my desk. And I had to put in the computer, mm -hmm. and, and I was sweating bullets <laughs> because it didn't really work. It didn't really work. Yeah. And so, um, but in the meantime, we put it stuck in the computer, and you talked over it. Yeah, I mm -hmm. talked over it. Um, you want to give a little background on Fort Union, if you can? Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have to be totally accurate, just okay. allowed. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ford Union was the longest lasting fur trading post in the United States. It lasted for 40 years. And uh, it had some people coming there, like you all know, Sitting Bull came through it, and um, Karl Bodner with Prince Maximilian von Weed. Karl Bodner was the Maximilian from Wheat? Yeah, Prince Maximilian from Wheat. Wheat, like, like in Wheat? No, <laughs> W-I-E-D. Oh, oh, wheat, a wheat, that wheat is like a, a valley. Yeah. Okay. And what? he had, the prince had his painter with him, Karl uh -huh. Bodmer. And Karl Bodmer was one of the uh, greatest Indian painters. Uh huh. And and he made wonderful pictures about the Indians. Uh huh. Lewis and Clark, they came through the area. My niece Claudia and me, we drove to the Lewis and Clark trail. Trail, yeah. 
So we probably went in went into the the blue blooded man with weed. Ah! <laughs> yeah, he came through there and with Sakakawea. Sakakawea is very popular in Saka yeah, hey, I hey I can't say it either. Saka Sakakawea. Yeah. She was leaving. I can't even say the word Sakaka. Sakakawea. It doesn't really matter mm -hmm. anyway. On the wagon train I take it. No, they walked. They walked. Oh, they walked. They walked. No wagon train. No, they oh, walked. that was ancient, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Walked. In the Fort Union, it, that's what the, that's the soldiers. Uh, yeah, that was a fur a fur trading post. That's what it was, mm -hmm. and they had soldiers too. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was Fort Buford. Is probably ten miles from there. That was a mm -hmm. um, soldier station where the stations mm -hmm. were. The soldier station, and uh, yeah, Fort Fort Union mainly was for the fur trading, mm -hmm. where everybody came through. Mm -hmm. And I understand your husband is a historian. He is a historian. Um, he is together in Fort Union with the Sixth Infantry. Mm -hmm. They're dressing up like soldiers from the Civil War, and uh, they're sending up. Cannonballs every year. They are it's called a reenactment. Reenactment, yeah. Yeah, like when we come from other places mm -hmm. and you saw your native clothes yep. and they say, I like your costume, doesn't it make you mad? Yeah. yeah. So that's what he is doing. He's a reenactor. Reenactor. Not a dresser upper. No. <laughs> uh, okay. He does that. Uh huh. And uh, he makes things. Uh huh. He makes haversack originally like they looked. I don't know what that is. Haversack is where the soldiers put all their uh, stuff in, kind of like a backpack. Okay. Today. Um, he makes cartridge belts. Uh huh. The things what he makes, he makes them for the museums. He sells uh -huh. them, and some of his stuff was in Dances with Wolf. He had really? some. Really in there so he that's what he is doing and yeah we were talking yesterday that when we are movie makers or something mm -hmm. we don't look at the movie we look at our stuff yeah yeah <laughs> that's what he does yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah you said I made this and I made yeah. that yeah he told us when when the movie started he said uh -huh. oh look there are my boots there's my yeah. belt that's and how I look at the movies <laughs> too yeah isn't that funny yeah that's what he well, I took it to the studio and mm -hmm. everything, so you, you don't look at movies the same either anymore, yeah. huh? You guys got a big movie studio, uh, big studio. Yeah. yeah, but once you know how it works, it, everything changes. Yeah, so almost takes the fun out of it. No, it's fun. It's yeah. fun, it's yeah. Fun. It's a lot of work, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, back to, I got so sidetracked, but that's okay. Fort Union, uh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna get sidetracked from Fort Union. I wanna show uh I wanna show him something. 